Hey, Stuart here with my basic LLC thanks for checking out this video. In it, I'm going to show you how to set up your Sony a7S III with Unreal Engine so you can get a signal into Unreal Engine for virtual production. So, let's do it. All right, so for this setup, we're using the Kona 4 capture card. We're using the, the AJ5, which is also uh, from AJA, like the Kona 4. And, uh, you know, it's a little learning curve, but we were able to get some help from some cool people on the Unreal Engine forum and uh, with AJA. And we're, we were able to get the signal in. So we're going to show you how to do that and save you some time. So, again, this is the AJA5. And here is the Kona 4 right here. So one thing you'll see is it has four little mini ports. Uh, I didn't know it had mini ports, but I had to get an adapter that allows me to uh, connect to the regular sized uh, SDI cable right here, as you can see. And um, that uh, is the adapter. I got it on Amazon. Uh, I guess I can share the links with you. Yeah, I'll share the links with you. So, again, that's the AJ5. Uh, they have the plus, and the difference between the two is the AJ5 captures at 1080p, all the way up to 30 uh, frames per second, and the plus captures up to 60. They have some other cards that actually capture 4K, which at some point will upgrade to. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set the camera up. We're gonna go into the camera and look at the settings to make sure they're correct. So one tip I want to share with you is when you, I'm going to turn it off just so uh, we can see. So because this is connected, we can't see it. So we're going to unplug this so we can see the settings. So what I wanted to show you is this part right here. So when you get the, the signal into Unreal Engine, you're going to see this information. So you're going to want to get rid of that. The way that you, you do that or turn it off is you're going to go to HDMI info, which is found in uh, external output, a little box down there in the menu. And you're gonna turn that off. You'll see in the in Unreal Engine, this part won't show. It'll just show the green part, or it'll just show the screen or what you're seeing through your camera. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and go back to menu. Image quality, file format. Make sure that it's XAVC SHD. That's 10. 80p the other two is 4k then from there we're going to go to movie settings we're going to make sure this is set to 24p again the max that the aj5 is going to allow is 30p if you want more then you need to upgrade to the ha5 plus they have other cards that are higher than that that allow you to capture 4k so that's a goal of ours in the near future. So next thing you want to do is look at your record settings. Make sure that's 10p. I'm sorry, 10 uh, 10 bit. And the reason is that's a better quality. Okay. Now that we have our settings ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the HDMI cable. It's gonna go. Once everything's set up, it should go dark. Now to make sure your signal is working, you're gonna look at your HA5. 
you're gonna see this red uh, indicator that's showing that the signal is it's hot or it's going into the the card. All right, so what we're gonna do is use this as the example template. So the first thing that we want to do is create a folder for the AJA. And we'll do that by going to the folder, AJA. We're gonna double click in here. We're gonna right click and we're gonna go to media and we're gonna go to media bundle. I'm gonna rename it AJA. And you see once I do that, a, another folder is created and that folder has these additional files in it. So from here, we're gonna go back out we're gonna double click, left click on the file here. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to media source, click the drop down, click AJA media source. From there, you're gonna click on the arrow right here under media source, and you'll see AJA. And you'll see here the next we're gonna Thing. The next thing we're going to click is um, under configuration. You see here now it says invalid. We're going to click on the drop down. Now you want to re remember what slot you put your adapter in. Mine's is in two. Again, this is the Kona 4, single link 2, 1080p, progressive, and it's 23.98. Remember the HA5. Uh, goes all the way up to 30. So we're gonna go here and apply. Next, we're going to go to video. We're gonna make sure that this is set to the same bit rate. As you saw on the A7S3, you can do eight or 10. And my understanding is 10 is better than what I've seen online. So once that's done, I'm gonna click on save. And I'm going to fix out. So now from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop this file into this file right here. And you'll see we have a signal. Now, one thing I had mentioned to you before is getting the data to not show up when you go into your, your settings on the a7S3. So just in case you weren't paying attention, I'm gonna go ahead and change that again so you can see. But I'm going to external output. Then I'm going to HDMI info display. And you'll see when I turn it on, you'll see that's what I, you're gonna get. That's what I saw initially. And that's not what you want. So again, you go to the little toolbox, external output, HDMI info display, and you'll turn that off. And that gives you the full screen to work with. All right. So I hope that was helpful. To you and uh, yeah now you can uh, continue on your journey so I may do another video if uh, you guys would like that where we can actually key out the green screen and uh, again that's another step you're gonna need uh, in your virtual production journey so uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. So until next time, take care, uh, stay safe.